Hi guys, I'm Angela and this is my husband Logan. Hello. I've been a pastry chef for about 11 years. Oh yeah, um, I eat a lot since before that. <laughs> and today is actually going to be a special uh, episode. Uh, this video is getting released on St. Erho's Day. And for some of, some of you that don't know, St. Erho's Day was actually created by Richard Matson in Virginia, Minnesota in 1956. He's actually a made-up saint um, just to kind of create a Finnish counterpart to the Irish St. Patrick. He drove the snakes from Ireland. In Richard Matson's story, St. Erho actually drove a plague of frogs from Finland. But later on, that story was actually changed by a, a psychology professor, professor, professor. Yeah. at Bemidji State who... Believers. Who changed the story from frogs into grasshoppers. Essentially then Saint Erho became the patron saint of Finnish vineyard workers. Saint Erho's day is only celebrated in parts that have a large Finnish community which is why a lot of people actually don't, they've never heard of it. I have, my mom told me about it. I am Finnish. Yeah, Apparently he's too. Finnish but he doesn't know anything about it. Never heard of it. I actually never realized that it was like a fake holiday. Um, most people that celebrate it only celebrate it just to kind of get the party started before the Irish. So, so I've got a nice little alcohol that we're trying. Where'd you put the can? I threw it away. I threw it away. So we got a chocolate peanut butter porter that was Lupulin Brewery. Never heard of that. Big Lake, Minnesota. Big like, yeah, um, a porter. They didn't like it. They're not huge fans of porters. We're not huge fans of porters either, but I really like trying porters. Um, so. No, she's talking about friends of hers that gave us this in case. What did I say? Just, they weren't fans of it. I thought they said friends that no. we were given. <laughs> So friends of ours gave this to us. <laughs> not like the brewery, not just a random day. Sloopalin, if you're lit watching, we'll we'll take a sponsorship or free beer. Or any any Anyone brewery that's, brewery that's watching, beer. I will definitely take some free alcohol to try. Cidery. Oh, it smells really peanut buttery. Like it smells very nutty. It's kind of coffee-ish. I, I, would, I would think that it was a coffee beer before a peanut butter. I just think it's kind of bland. Yeah, I can see that. It's, a little, it's got kind of a watery finish. I'm more of an IPA person, so this is hard for me to drink. I also don't like but. that. I find that porters are a lot less fizzy. Oh yeah, they're than kind other of beers. flat. Yeah. If you want to try it, I highly recommend it. Go try it out. Not talking crap about any beer. No. I don't know. If you like black coffee, honestly, I don't like black coffee, but I like Thai porters. It's weird. I love black coffee. I, I hate I porters. I don't. So today we are going to make some punchki. So a punchki is actually kind of like a Polish donut, which I know it's kind of weird. We're doing something Polish for a Finnish holiday. Back in February, um, over the Valentine's weekend, we actually did a little bit of a pilgrimage to Hamtramck, uh, Michigan where we got punchkis for Fat Tuesday, and we picked up a bunch of pierogi. Friday will be the regular drop for our pierogi episode. So we're gonna make some punchkis. We're gonna make some Polish donuts, and let's get started. All of it's going in here. First, it's just the um, yolk, sugar, and vanilla, and we're gonna beat that until it's light and fluffy. Separate. Why do you have the cutting board? You gave it to me. I told you to put it away, not put it on oh. the table. Remind me, how do these crack again? What do you the mean, white, how do they? The white falls out, right? Yep. All right, so the white's going in here. Going no, in. we want the yolk. We don't want the white. Yeah, so put the yolk in here. Well, yeah, but you said the white. You, the white in here. Yeah, but then you were like... The white's that. going in here, the yolk is going in here. Yes. yes? All right, how many? Three. What are you doing? I don't know. You are the slowest egg separator ever. Oh 
my god, just pull it! Gross! This is a clean sweatshirt! Whatever. Uh. Ah. Scoop it out. No, with your hand. Just do it with your hand. Don't push it. Just let it fall through your fingers. It doesn't want to fall through. These are weird. Well, you're not even like separating it. Yeah. That, that. Can I pull it? Oh! <laughs> it's fine, it's fine. Just it just dash. says vanilla. I know, because <laughs> that's what I do. <laughs> you just kind of pour some in. Also, I found out where the uh, the tablespoon for this one went. Yeah? You left it in the sugar oh. during the last video we shot. Oh, okay. Quarter cup? Sugar. Yeah. Oh, that was that's, a lot. Yeah, this was a lot. You know what? I think that's vodka. We got vodka in it. Our recipe calls for vodka, but we don't have any right now. So two ounces of butter, we're gonna melt. Two oh five. Two oh one. One ninety four. Yeah. Oh my god, just leave it! Alright, we'll melt this. Flour. Uno. Zwei. How do you say a half in some other language? Half. <laughs> I don't know how to say half in any other language. We don't have any milk in the house right now, so I'm gonna have you do a half a cup, if we have it, of the whole milk or the heavy cream. And why wouldn't you just use the measuring cup? Or I just thought it... you were going to have me put it in there. Yeah, put it in there. I can't, it, it's got no labels. Okay, fine. If you can't figure out that that's a cup. This milk or this milk? So I have a cup of the heavy cream and then a quarter cup of the oat milk. Just to kind of try to even out the fat content a little bit. It's always a toss up what kind of dairy products we have. Man, you just love making dishes for yourself. For yourself? Give me the thingy. Give me the thingy! It's going. Thank you. About time. I don't know why you put it away when we still needed it. Because I forgot. Seven grams. Are you serious? Right I now? honestly have no idea how much seven grams is. It's actually kind of a lot for yeast, because yeast is very light. And a lot of times, a scale isn't gonna, isn't gonna register like one or two grams. It's not gonna register until like three or four, depending on what it is and your scale brand. Punchki we had from Hamtramck, it actually wasn't a sweet dough. Mm -hmm. It was actually very bready. It was good though. Yeah. I think I'm still a little too Americanized where I still really like the glazed, fluffy donuts we have. All right, what's next? All right, so we're gonna go back over to the mixer and we're going to mix everything. So I don't know if you guys can see very well, but you can see little globs of egg yolk. And that's because when the sugar and the vanilla hit it, it actually cooked those little bits a little bit. So, those little bits a little bit? Yeah. Is that, you heard me. All right. Um, switch out that to your dough hook and your flour. All at once? Yeah. Button that in last. Start adding in your It is a very dry dough. This is very interesting. Alright, 
That's kind of getting, that's helping. Look at all the freaking yeast you got on the top. Huh? It just dumped it in. So the dough is looking nice, it's smooth, it's sticky, but it's not like overly so. Um, when it's mixing, it's not sticking to the sides anymore, so this is looking pretty good. We're back. Our dough has just about doubled in volume, so if you want to sprinkle some flour onto the table, we're going to roll these babies out and we're gonna cut them and fill them because the recipe I got this from wants us to fill them before we fry them which I thought was very interesting but I'm using a jam so we'll see how it goes yeah that's our dough it's beautifully yellow from all the yolks and you're gonna want to put a little bit more flour on the top like half an inch or so Sounds good. I got a new adult beverage out. My friend and his wife both brew beer and cider. He brews the beer, she brews the cider because she's uh, she's got celiac disease. And she gave us a tart apple that she made. I'm definitely more of a fan of her stuff. Don't tell him. I'm just a cider girl. He doesn't like this one. About half inch. Look at how thick your middle is compared to your edges. So you never want to go all the way out to the edges. Dude, you're going like all over the place with it too. No wonder it's so uneven. You told me not to go all the way out to the edges. So go ahead and now you want to go that way to the, get these edges. I'm just going to kind of let it shrink and work from the center out. This is a very beautiful dough, by the way, guys. It's so smooth. I love enriched type doughs. Those are doughs that have like butter and eggs in them and sugar. I think this is probably good. A little, little lower here, but. So my idea is to just sandwich the two circles we do together with a filling in the middle. We've got a, I've got a cranberry jam that we're gonna fill it with just cause that's what, I just have it. This guy, let's do that guy. Go ahead and cut rings out. We got all the rounds cut out. We're probably just gonna make fritters with the leftover dough. Yum. We got some cranberry jam. We've got enough for 10 punchki. Punchki, punchkai, punchkis. What, what's the plural of punchki? Anyone know? Let us know. Yeah, I, uh, in the comments. Know. Honestly, I don't know anything about the Polish language, so. Not a clue. Let's do like uh, that amount and see. You can put that on ten of them. Are we gonna have enough jam? Barely. All right, now what? Okay, so now we're gonna do this top side down because that one's the less floured side and we're just gonna put them on top and pinch to seal. And hopefully that'll seal it enough. So we're probably going to have a bunch of leftover fry oil from this. So I'm gonna have to figure out more things to fry. All right, so we're gonna let these chill out for like 
10, 20 minutes, do a second proof on these guys before we fry them up. So we'll be right back. Um, we're actually doing two videos today, so you guys might end up seeing some other things being made, our pierogies, which is gonna be our video coming out on Friday. So that's butter muffins. The gourmet sweater. You wanna hold the camera? I don't trust myself not to burn myself. Okay. I might look like it's separating. I hope they're just raising and not separating. So what we're waiting for is the bottom to be like golden brown. How do you know if you can't see the bottom? We'll flip it off, we'll look. Yeah, that one's nice and pretty brown. Yeah. That one opened up too. They just look like sandwich. We are done. These are the good looking ones. Oh yeah. We decided to kind of roll the edges because these guys ended up like sandwiches a little bit. Let's open this one up. See if I can get a good break in it. So they're a lot flatter than the ones that we had gotten in Hamtramck. But these are gonna be so much fresher because we literally just finished these probably like mm. 10, 20 minutes ago. Mm. They're still delicious. Mm -hmm. The stove is a little bit sweeter. Which I agree with what you said earlier. The American in me is making me kind of like this a little mm -hmm. bit better. It's still not as sweet as like, you know, you go to Cub and you get a donut. It's not that sweet this dough is lighter it's fluffier a little bit closer to the donut you know whereas like the ones we had gotten were a little bit closer to a bread and then we filled it with a cranberry jam i made like a while back that's delicious uh, that's pretty good they look very different but taste very delicious we also these are a little bit uh, fried a little bit darker, I think, than the ones we had. So it's got that nice fried texture to it, like flavoring texture. Um, I really like the crisp edges. So that was us making punchki. I hope you all uh, have a good St. Urho's Day. Drink some alcohol, have some good, safe fun. Only drink the alcohol if you're 21 or older. Don't yeah. drink and drive. Oh, if you guys liked our video, let us know by giving it a thumbs up. Let us know in the comments what else you guys would like to see, how you felt about this episode. Um, subscribe, that's the other thing. Subscribe to our channel. Um, it yes, would really help us out. And if you guys want to see what we're doing on the daily, you can follow me on Instagram at Broken Baker. Uh, we've been doing some kitchen up updating and I always have a daily post and story. So, catch you guys later.